Welcome to another Tableau tutorial from SpritePath. Today, we're talking about live connections versus data extracts in Tableau. Let's go ahead and connect to some data. We're going to connect to my coffee chain subset data to demonstrate something about live connections. So here in the data source view, if you look over in the top right corner, we can see this is the connection area. And there's two radio buttons, live and extract. Tableau's default setting is live. Now a live connection is exactly what it sounds like. It is a direct connection to your data. There's nothing between Tableau and the actual data source. Generally speaking, live connections are best for when you're working with flat files on your computer, like we are now, when you're connected to a super fast database, or when your requirements are mission critical and you need up to the minute real time data, like in a hospital for instance. Another useful application of live connections is it gives you the ability to modify your data, make changes, add or remove fields, and then save and refresh that data in Tableau and you'll see those changes right away. Let me show you. So let's make a view. We'll take product and we'll take uh, cogs out and we'll and we see that lemon will show labels. The cogs for lemon is 125. Now let's bring out our Excel file that we're connected to. <clears throat> you can see it's right here and we can see for for lemon the cogs are 25. Let's go ahead and just change that to 100 because let's say there was a data entry mistake. All right, so we've changed the cogs for lemon to 100 apiece. We'll save and we'll flip back to Tableau. Now in Tableau, all we need to do is go to the data source in the data pane, right click and choose refresh. We can see here that lemon is updated and now the cogs are 500. So that's an example of how you can flip back and forth between a flat file and Tableau if you need to make changes. And you'll see the uh, changes right away as long as you save and then refresh the data source. So what we're gonna do now is let's go ahead and close this data source. We'll hit okay, all right. And we will connect to a much bigger data source. We'll connect to Sample Superstore. All right, now. Let's go to the data source view, and we can see down here in the row counter, if we just pop in 10,000 here, we can see that there's 9,994 rows of data in here. Now, let's say that we're only interested in analyzing the last two years worth of data. When that's the case, that's all we should bring in, because the number one factor affecting performance in Tableau is bringing in too much data. So this is where data source filters come into play. So let's go ahead and add a data source filter. Up here in the top right, you see the filters area. So just click add. Then the, you get the data source filter window. We'll simply click, and then we'll uh, select order date. Let's do continuous years. And then we'll just take the last two years. Now, and note over here, we've got almost 10,000 rows in this file before we apply the data source. So let's apply this, we'll hit OK. And now notice we're down to 58.99. So that's a significant improvement. Now granted, we're, a flat, we're using a flat file here on my local machine, so there's not gonna be a huge improvement in performance. However, if we were connecting to a database over an internet, there very well could be. So this is how you pare down your data to just the data you need, and you can improve in performance by doing so. Now let's say we want it to uh, pare it down even further. Let's say we're only interested in the south and the east regions. So we can go back up to the filters area and note the number one here. This means there's a single data source filter being applied to our live connection. Let's hit edit. Let's add another filter. This time we're gonna filter on region and we'll keep only south and east. We'll hit okay. And note, we're at 58.99. We'll hit OK. And now we're down to 26.18. So that's a significant improvement from the almost 10,000 rows that we had in our data source. We, don't, we only need to analyze 2,618. So that's why you would do something like that. It improves the efficiency of your workbook while you're doing your analysis. And also, once this workbook is published on Tableau server, it'll perform better there for your users as well. Now. Let's go ahead and remove these filters.
and we're back to our original state. Now, this is a live connection. How do we create an extract in Tableau? By using this button. Tableau will create an extract in a single click, and there it is. Tableau has extracted the data. So the extract is a static snapshot of our data at this particular moment. So that means that it's not up to the minute updated. And that's okay for most companies. Now the main benefits of using data extracts are performance and portability. If your database is slow, a data extract can be faster. Tableau takes the extract into memory and these extracts are optimized for performance and they can take advantage of Tableau server's processing power. So what happens is Tableau will query the extract and this keeps the analytical query load off your main database. And you can filter an extract the same way you would a live connection. Let's go ahead and do that now just like we did with a live connection. So here we are extracted 994. Let's go ahead and hit the edit button. This will bring up the extract data filter window. So we'll add our filter. We'll filter by uh, order date, discrete years. We'll just do the last two years. And we'll also add that filter for region, south and east only. We'll hit apply. And we're down to 2,618 rows. So we can go right to the worksheet. And when you do this, Tableau will ask you to save the extract. And in this case, it is a dot hyper extract. So we'll just name this sample superstore test extract. And we'll save that. Now here in the worksheet view, take note of the icon of our data source up in the data pane. It's now got two cans with an arrow. This is the icon for a Tableau data extract. So from here, we can proceed to build our view. We can take state out. We'll make this a filled map. Let's take region, put it on color, and we can see that our data source filter is stuck. We only have the south and the east regions. We'll duplicate latitude. We'll try to make a, a dual access map. We'll make the bottom one a circle. And we'll put sales on size. Take region off color that one, and we'll make this white. Crank up the size a little bit, down a little bit, and we'll put a border on it so we can see those circles. Okay, cool. And then we'll just take it back to dual access. And we have a little map that has color encoded by region and sales is on the circle, the size of our circles. And so that is, that's it. So. There you have it. You can use a live connection in Tableau or you can create and use a data extract. You should use data source filters to make your workbooks efficient. And remember, when you're thinking live versus extract, it's not about which is right. It's about which is right for your particular situation. So go ahead and use both as needed.